been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You might have done some real good with Joan. Though you wouldn't let Anna back in. I don't blame you. That's hard. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now. My world may fall apart, you'd still be here. Of course. Though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you, and less about everything else. I oh, know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Finally, 
yourself out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. That's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. I'm hoping this is the end of all this. One way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick. Dennis. I'm ready to see it end. Anna, whatever happens, I'm really glad someone's here with me. Sam, we can get all sappy once this is all over. Now we need those files. I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so we got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. Declan. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Killing us is not in your best interest, Declan. The more bodies you leave behind, the harder it'll be to hide them. It's a good point. But at least bodies don't talk. Look, I don't want to do this. But I promise. It ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this. And you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? You have to tell him exactly what he wants to hear. You and me, we can do this.
three people gunned down the same day is bound to attract attention. You're a cop, Declan. You know the next strangers in town will be the feds. I could make you disappear. Ditch your corpses somewhere. No one would know. Come on, Declan, we talked to people, followed leads. And if we just go missing, Walter, Bess, people who know us will ask questions. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead, tell me how that happens. Take the proof Dickie stole and let us go. We won't tell anyone. We know where our family and friends live, after all. And that would be enough to keep you from talking. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? I put my own interests first. And it's in my best interest to not be shot. I could turn on you, risk my life and the lives of everybody I love. Or I could go home and forget about what I know. Forget all about Basswood. Honestly, I could really use a reason to forget about this place for good. You've become a wise man, Sam. I must say, Higgs, you might have found yourself a way out of this. How about you just hand over the evidence, Anna? Nice and easy. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. It's better for everyone this way. You win, Declan. Good call. I expect you two to keep your end of the bargain. You asshole! woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please! James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Oh, Sam. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look like he's part of this community. Nice to see you again. Paying your respects? I thought I'd wished Anna my best. What affects the community affects us all, Sam. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of the community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Very astute. Putting down roots is a rather active process. How's Kathy? She doing okay? She's been going through some hard times lately. I've noticed. I'm thinking of giving her some paid time off. That way she can focus on her daughter. That's very generous of you. Nah, I'm just trying to do my part. Besides, the pharmacy just wouldn't be what it is without Kathy. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. No. You have a good life, young man. 
I'll try. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. I'm so glad she's finally out of the hospital. Sam! Hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. See? Told you promising him you'd keep his daughter safe was a good idea. Who knows, it might have even given you the extra boost you needed against Declan. But you did do good. Well done, champ. Anna did good, too. I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for her. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. You know, Anna told me how things went down up there. Said you getting inside Declan's head saved her skin. I just talked, said anything, and everything, and whatever. It worked out. <laughs> she said as much. Well, whatever you did, it worked. I'm glad you were there. I know you're really here for my daughter. And today, you're not the only one. Lots of good people have come around to see how she's doing. Don't you be a stranger, Sam. Not a lot of people with a good handshake left. Where are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites! I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. She's still trying to make sense of all that's happened. She's been through a lot. Maybe Basswood just isn't the right place for her anymore. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged, and I hurt my back, and... She said it wasn't just that. She's noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back. And it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself. But I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. 
I should really say hi to the other guests. Take care. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. This one is all you. I never could get a read on her. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe. I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him, I don't know, makes me feel a bit better. It'll keep feeling better with time. Even if it's hard, you have to keep one thing in mind. You're not alone. And your mom will always be there for you, no matter what. What about you? Are you staying this time? I'm not sure yet. Oh. But I promised your mom I'd help keep you out of her hair. You did? Of course. I'd help your mom, and I figured you'd be happy to have me around. So, we'll get to hang out again? Like in, maybe, board games at the coffee shop? Just like old times? Anytime you want. You're the best, Muley. <laughs> I'm alright. Listen, I need to find Anna now. I'll see you around, okay? The sooner the better. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm just happy Anna's coming home. Things could have been much worse. It always can be. <laughs> it always can be. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. That day, you said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well, this is as far as I go. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. Consider taking some time to think it through. This doesn't sound like you. My first week in the bullpen, you said to me, the pen is not a sword, but a shield. You take this town's shield away? Using my own words against me. <laughs> Believe me, I wish there were another way. But I lost my flame, and there's no one to pick up the torch. Except... He's gonna offer you to be editor-in-chief. He never liked you leaving in the first place. Though, he is missing the obvious. Anna, she's connected to this place in a way that you aren't. She'd be the right choice. If... You're not interested in the position yourself, that is. You. I see no one more up to the task. You've proven time and time again you're the quintessence of a journalist. <laughs> I should have told you a long time ago. Thank you, but no. This town and I have too much history. Quite right, quite right. It was a silly idea. What about Anna? I can't think of anyone who cares more about Basswood. Anna? She's always been a bit of a freelancer. I hadn't considered it. Though now I feel like a real Tom Fool. Do you think she'd take it? We won't know until you ask her. Wonderful. But Samuel, make sure this isn't goodbye. And next time I send you a text... I'll answer it, Walter. I promise. If I can give you a small piece of advice... A good life is one where you keep your friends close to your heart.
and you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now, I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. It wasn't your fault. No one saw it coming. I still would have trusted him with my life. He was serious, dedicated, looking back, maybe obsessed. That's a rot that grows deep under the floorboards. I didn't see it either. What happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. Yeah, I meant to get here before you, but I had to stop by the cemetery on the way. I finally paid Nick a visit. Still doesn't feel like he's gone, right? I was still thinking he'd come greet me when I opened the door, you know? He's not coming back anymore. But we have to remember him for all those little moments we shared with him. Oh, wow. <sighs> I almost forgot about that one. Walter took it, right? Around the time you first worked for the jungle? I won't forget he's not coming back, but... I am thankful I met him. And you. You feeling okay? Is it crazy to say... <laughs> It feels like the longest day of my life is finally over. I honestly know exactly what you mean. I've had other days like that, or I thought were like that. It makes me worry I have some even worse days lurking ahead. Hey, I'm the one that got shot. You don't get to be the depressing one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> What about you? How are you compacting everything? I have the past properly compacted in my mind, Vice. I'm okay. Like, really okay. Hopefully you can teach me that trick so I can get to be okay, too. At least it's over. Whatever was on Nick's laptop is gone forever. But so are the bad guys. The scales are balanced. If you say so. It's just... It's just... Want to tell me what you're doing here? Talk about the little details that don't add up and don't really matter? You better not be taking my happy ending away from us. It's just that... <sighs> okay. So I talked to Walter. How would you like to be the next editor-in-chief of the Basswood Jungle? What? Are you kidding? I'm not. He's about to retire. I promised I'd talk you into it if you tried to turn it down. I don't even know if I'd want it. I still remember our old conversations. There's no way you don't want it. Maybe. 
You're right. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Okay, uh, if I'm doing this, I might need help. What about you? Are you leaving town again? I plan to stick around, at least for a little while. Maybe for a long while. That's good. I'm gonna need riders. I'll be here. Someone has to make sure this place doesn't burn down. Sam Higgs? Basswood Protector? Sounds a lot better than Destroyer. I am gonna need business cards. Uh, no one uses business cards anymore. It's the 21st century, Higgs. What's old is new again. And think about what Walter would want. <laughs> well, business cards it is then. <laughs>